Um, just real quickly popping on here, I'm working on another one of these little box frame assemblage pieces and I just thought I would share the process with you. I've done some already here. Um, I started with just a pre-purchased a pre-purchased box frame just this I think I got these from Michaels I believe I've had them for a while and I got they were like three for uh, $14 or something so anyways I started with that it's just the frame is just plastic but it already has the glass in it and it's permanently in there you can't take it out which makes it a little difficult to clean it and keep it clean but anyways is what it is so then I just took some dress pattern dress pattern papers and cut strips and used matte medium to cover the whole thing front and all the edges and then so that was the frame and then I just took a scrap piece of wood a block of wood and drip I put white gesso all over the whole thing two coats and then drip some paint and then just took some little pieces of that pattern paper put it on the front and then covered the sides with that so that's gonna go in the top I think like that and then I took a piece of corrugated cardboard and cut it to size across the width I hope this is in frame yes okay cut it to size across the width to make a little divider and when I went to pick it up off my cutting mat this little piece pulled off of the back over here like it wasn't cut all the way through and it's like oh that's kind of cute I like that little zigzaggy piece so I glued that to the bottom and then this is the backer that came with and I just cut a piece of seven gypsies paper and I think it kind of went color wise and it has the whole sewing theme on there so that's that so then I played and played and played with what's gonna go in the bottom I need something dimensional I need I didn't know what I needed so what I ended up with was I had these <coughs> Finnebear like angel heads so I put her in and she just fits her little nose touches the glass <laughs> otherwise I would have used a bigger one but the bigger one was higher and it's like okay I like that and then I had these um, seven gypsies angel wings they're from the architecture collection and I had to cut them so they would fit around because even just that much they're not real thick but they are dimensional but I had her sitting on top of them and then she wouldn't fit the glass hit her too much so I cut those and I think I'm going to go over her and her wings and I cut that short I do have a little tiny piece here I'm going to fit in there I don't want to lose it um, but I think I'm going to just go over her with like a wash of burnt sienna or some acrylic paint so that's kind of where I am right now I'm kind of liking it I know this needs something on there I'm not sure what and I may sit some some little pieces closer to the glass on the bottom where the frame kind of creates a shelf so that's where I'm at so far 
just thought I would share this much with you and I'll add to this video once I know better what I'm doing and those of you who follow me you know this is how I work I I'm a very intuitive creator and I just kind of start with one thing and then let that thing tell me what the next thing should be and so sometimes <laughs> I'm off on many quests trying to find what it's telling me to go get and I have a lot of stuff so sometimes I have it sometimes I have to make it and sometimes I have to start over but that's kind of how I work it's how I enjoy working so anyways this is where I am and I'll come back and finish this video up and show you where I ended up all right I decided I can't put anything dimensional on this because this pretty much takes up the whole depth of the box frame so I'm going to stencil this I think here this is a Rebecca Meyer stencil from crafters workshop mini specimens and I am using archival ink in watering can which is a gray color and we'll just see how this looks really like this stencil it's very I don't know celestial and earthy kind of at the same time that doesn't make any sense does it but that's just kind of how I feel like trying to build up a little color here let me take a peek yeah that's I like that okay I'm gonna go a little darker in here some of these lines whoops are really fine that's good that is good I don't know if there's another I might just put this one over here that'd be too much I think that's too much maybe just this partial now I'm just gonna do this see how I talk myself out of things yeah like that just in the background Maybe this right here. Mm -hmm. And that's what it needed. I think while I have this out. I'm, and this may not even end up being seen. I better move her. Um, I'm going to go around the edges of this backer board though. Probably won't even see it because it'll be under the lip of the frame, but maybe. We'll see once it's done. I can stick it in there and check. I bought these ink daubers. This one was brand new just now when I took it out. You see how it's falling apart? So cheaper isn't always better. I thought, how much worse can they be than the more expensive ones? Worse. And I think the, I'm not sure how much I paid. Not a lot. It was for 20 pieces. Yeah, they're going to go back because I've only used this is my third one look at falling apart Amazon's really good though if you aren't happy and you used prime call get on the phone there's a there's a number 
if you go on your account and look for contact us if you click on that it'll take you to a page where they if you click call me they they will call you immediately so it's not like you got to call and be put in a queue to wait for somebody to answer the phone they call you and it's been my experience they called me right away and pretty much every time I've had a problem they either send me a refund or a replacement you don't have to pay late they don't send you the label they send you something to put in the package but they schedule um, UPS to come pick it up and bring the mailing label the return label so you don't pay, you don't have to pay it's it's great yeah, but anyways don't buy those get the better ones because <laughs> those don't last all right let's see yeah you can see it a little bit I think it just kind of enhances the shadow that the frame is casting but yeah I like it okay onward well my battery died and I didn't realize it so here's the finished piece what happened well I added some numbers to these little vintage weights that you can see at the bottom on the ledge um, I'm not sure what the weights were from but I glued them on the bottom ledge so they appear to be floating in front of the angel they're inside but right against the glass and then I aged the angel and her wings with a wash of burnt umper acrylic and glued her in and then to the block at the top I added a small piece of ephemera on the top left and then glued on a piece of some, it was some kind of a math tool on like a heavy mylar um, material but anyways I thought it looked really good with the stencil on the block so that's on the right hand side I glued it to the actual block so and then I put it all together so there you have it so I hope you like it give it a thumbs up share and leave a comment all of these things really help a lot thanks for watching and go make some art bye